Clothing always makes a statement. And this is why it's vitally important to make sure that you have these three concepts when you are stepping into your closet. Remembering that the color is going to be an emotional descriptor. Your structure of your garment is going to provide a statement. Even though some of these guys aren't making statements, their look is highly questionable. The goal is to create an idea behind that image that is conveyed when people interact with it. So the first thing that we have to do is be clear with that message. A man should always work to be as clear and direct as possible. He is after all striving to be a leader and leaders lead by example. So I want you to think about these clothes as words to that statement that you're going to make. And when you pull out each item, I want you to ask yourself, am I making a confident statement? Do I see myself as confident when I'm putting it on? And do I love myself in it? I like love. If the answer is no, then it's time for you to get rid of it because it's not you. And here's how you know you're not confident in it. If you've gotten a little too big for your britches or you lost a significant amount of weight, then you'll notice that the garment does not fit you. And while fit is a important thing, is not the most important thing, despite what a lot of guys will tell you. It's time for you to let it go. Don't act like you ain't seen the movie. If you really do love it, try to find a alternate size online or at the store. And if that's not possible, take a picture and then utilize it for inspiration for your next purchase. If it doesn't fit your life because you're not moving like an adult, no fellas, you don't have to get rid of your PlayStation or your J's, I'm not saying that, but it still is time for you to put childish things away. You gotta get clear about whether or not you are where you want to be in life. If not, it's time for you to put the game down and start playing life's game so that you can master it and play that to win. If you have 10 pairs of Jordans, be clear about where that's going to allow you access, what that's going to say about you in any given situation that you are in. Think about the different spaces and places that those Jordans are going to garner you access to. It can no longer just be the gym or to the movies or to the club. Now you're starting to think about how you can interact in these different spaces in order to build your look, your legacy, and your pockets. And to get clear about whether or not you're willing to invest the same amount of resources in something elevated that you did in those retro J's. And if you are ready to put those things away, this is a great time for you to not just discard them, but for you to think about donating those or passing them down to your son, your nephew, your cousin, or any mentee that you may have. Because this is the perfect opportunity for you to not only present them with the gift of some stylish clothes, but also the gift of perspective. Because rest assured, any of those young guys are looking up at you and striving to be more like you on the daily if you've had any sort of influence on them. And any kid who tries that on is sure to fit them well. When we're clear about who we are, what we're saying, and where that objective is going to take us, it doesn't really require a whole lot of talking. Our convictions become sort of a rallying cry that gets people on board. And your closet should be just as concise. Repeating that war cry over and over again with each ensemble. It is, after all, a wardrobe. Man, that was cool. Was cool. You said that. Anyway, the more clear and concise the style, the more elevated the clothing will be because you don't have to go out and buy a whole lot of items. And you can continue to invest in the best version of that item to speak for you. You start investing in qualitative hangers that are wooden and have wider bases to hold up the shoulders of your jacket or pant hangers to hang up your separate trousers so that they keep the crease. But what happens for a lot of guys is they know that these things still fit them, still make them feel comfortable and still work to make them feel good, but there's still irreparable damage that's been done to the thing. And as difficult as it may be, and as much as it may hurt, 
You gotta let it go. I'm not gonna have anything to wear. People are gonna see me the same thing every time I go out. I can't, you can't change it, you with this. Alright, maybe not that last part. But let's be calculated here for a second. In real life, how many people are checking for you when you go out? And I'm not saying this to be a hater. I really want you to think about how many people approach you about your style or about your energy when you are stepping out on the scene. Or are you a guy who just kind of fades into the background? If so, don't worry about how often you're wearing your item. And if you are an extrovert, consider this. How many people are actually seeing you every day on the regular? And for those guys who are worried about their coworkers, if anybody's really checking for you that much and peeping your outfit, they're an admirer or a hater. And if they're hating, they still are observing. So they're admirers anyway. And for that matter, how many people are going to recognize you in the same thing? Now, in reality, if you have a few jackets, three or four pairs of pants and four shirts, you almost have a year's worth of looks that you could cycle through. So you wouldn't even be wearing the same thing on a day to day basis if you wore the same jacket two or three days in a row. And you'll find the more clear and concise and consistent you are with your style, the more effortlessly you're able to move with some of the similar or same ensembles and different scenes and scenarios, because you'll know what you need to say clearly, concisely, and confidently when you are stepping out of your wardrobe. But I wasted all that money. For real, who was saying that? I'm your conscience. Oh, well, don't listen to that. If you spent your money, and you got some wear out of it, and you enjoyed it, even though you didn't love it, and maybe you got some compliments on about it. Well, then you learned about yourself, you learned what not to do, and you were able to pass it on to somebody else who may have more benefit because it actually fits their character. So it wasn't a loss, it just may have been an expensive lesson. When you've gotten clear and concise with your wardrobe, now it kind of comes the hard part because your wardrobe has been consolidated and for most guys especially if they're just starting out they're usually going to see a 30 to 40 percent decrease in their closet and their first thought is man i gotta go out and buy some stuff to fill up this closet again but in truth this is the time that you need to be that much more calculating consciously and financially you want to think about whether or not the next item that you're going to put in your wardrobe is going to be clear in the statement that you're trying to to say when it comes to my wardrobe, you'll notice that most of the colors that I wear are going to be complementary. I wear purple, I wear green, and I wear orange. All of these will still work well together with the different shirts that I'm putting together, as well as different separates that I may put together in my look as well. But it also has allowed me financially, when I am showing the restraint and discipline, to say for something that I really am going to love and that will further enhance my wardrobe. So now I'm calculating the cost of the garment, but also the cost of how it will benefit me. So if you are saving for something and something happens to go on sale, 50, 60, 70% off, well, now you've added it to your wardrobe, you've got some money in the bank, and you are continuing to make a more definitive statement when you step out. So now the last question to ask is, how is this going to translate through the day? And how can I ensure that that transition is done smoothly? Well, I'm going to keep this brief and leave it for the next chapter. Now, if you're having some challenges on building a confident closet or you just don't know what looks good on you, then you and I should work together and you should schedule a snapshot of style with me. Hour long session where we get all of your basic elements together so that you can really begin curating a confident wardrobe for yourself and you can schedule an appointment in the link below for now what did what did i put this on for i'm not even going anywhere try this on see how it fits you and if it fits you well step out in style and if it doesn't leave it right here in the dressing room that's what it's for so now all you have to do is show up with a clear concise and calculated statement and step out in style i'll see you next time peace